welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we're here to offer you insight and information about your board games. We're pretty obsessed with collections and collecting, so we create these video reviews in an effort to help you curate the perfect board game collection. How do you feel about art? Have you got a particular interest in museums? How would you feel about manipulating the markets to make yourself more money? Well, if you've got an interest in any of those, I think you're really gonna enjoy today's Kickstarter preview for Promenade. So let's see what I thought about it. Coming to Kickstarter in the next few months is Promenade from designer Tati Wu and Sunrise Tornado Game Studios. It's an economic card drafting game for two to four players, which sets you up as purveyors of fine art. The aim of the game is to purchase and exhibit art in an attempt to manipulate the market. The winner is the player with the most money and the most victory points at the end of the game. Mechanically speaking, this is a card drafting game with an elegant financial touch. You start the game with a deck of cards that consists of a variety of cheap paintings and some money, kind of like a portfolio, and you use these to purchase further paintings. Now the trick here however is that when you buy paintings of a particular genre or indeed colour that will increase their value not just for you but for all players meaning the cards in your deck can become more valuable as you purchase other paintings. There's another way of course to add value to your paintings and that's by putting them in an exhibition in the museum and this will usually increase their worth quite a bit and also give you immediate victory points. So as you can see, the aim of this game here is to manipulate the market um, and to buy when things are cheap and increase their value as the game goes on. So similar games to Promenade. There are a variety of deck building games where you buy cards to enhance those in your deck. However, none are so direct as Promenade where buying one card directly influences all other cards in your deck. It does, however, remind me a little bit of Symphony Number no. 9, where you're riding on the coattails of someone else's greatness to make money. Setup is quick and it takes about 45 minutes for two players to play. Little changes really from game to game, but there are varied end game scoring components. Really the variety here comes from the interaction between players, players and cards, and the different types of artworks available for purchase. Aesthetically, Promenade is clearly influenced by the Impressionists. It's full of beautiful artwork made by the game's designer and it's very pretty and calming to engage with. I particularly enjoyed the player boards and the choice of colour used for each genre. What's special about Promenade? I think it has to be its implementation of the financial system. This should be a cutthroat game about making money and really that's what it is at its core but it never feels like that. Rather you feel like a patron of the arts, someone who's collecting different types of artworks and I think that's a really interesting approach to finance. So how do I feel about Promenade? Firstly, the negatives. Um, I have a small complaint to make here but I think it might be something that's unique to my player group as a whole. Um, at the end of the game you, there are end, little end game scoring bonuses you can have completed. And for us at two players, we found they were never really worthwhile to engage with, that it was always better to buy more artwork for your deck. I do think this is something that probably won't come up with other player groups or would definitely be resolved at larger player accounts, but it's an issue that we came across. So the positives. Promenade is just so much fun. And I love a good deck drafting game. Yeah, that's true. But this one feels very different to others. There's something fascinating about watching someone else's actions improve everything in your deck and it's really thrilling to watch your deck you know get better throughout the game and be able to lead you to bigger and better things in ways that you didn't necessarily intend sometimes. Um, of course there is definitely the immediacy of being able to manipulate the market so you know you can buy into some paintings that no one else has got into yet and raise their prices by yourself and kind of corner that market um, and Promenade really makes finance kind of fun. It proves that economic games don't need to be dry um, because it really doesn't feel economic. It feels very intuitive um, and it really makes sense also in terms of the theme. Not to mention the fact that the theme is a pretty unique one. I haven't come across a game about fine art before, let alone about, you know, buying and trading in it. And it's quite refreshing and one I rather enjoyed. So, do I think you should have Promenade in your collection? Well, if you like fine art as a theme, you're interested in deck building, 
um, or you like finance um, or finance done differently, then I think you'll really enjoy Promenade. I have to say it's been one of my favorite games I brought back from Essen. Yeah, I, I know it's a prototype type copy, but it's one I've played a lot of and I look forward to playing more of. So keep your eyes peeled for the Kickstarter campaign. Um, I'll add a link in the description below, you know, when it's up and running. Um, and thank you for watching as always. If you have any comments or queries you'd like to make about Promenade, I'd really like to hear from you. And until next time, I'll be here playing games, asking questions, and of course, perusing my collection. Take care.